introduction. Welcome to math. We're talking about the area of a trapezoid today. Is that okay with you? All right, yes. Mateo's okay with it. Layla's fast asleep. Let's get into it. All right, so your trapezoid looks something like this, okay? And it's not a shape we have one formula for. So the cool thing about a trapezoid and all kinds of other polygons, closed shapes, are we can use what we know about like one shape and then combine it to find the area of a, of a irregular or different shape, okay? So in this case, here's our trapezoid. Um, I'll use the one that we had on, the, on the, the page. This distance here is the highest height, so that's listed as height, and that was listed as 20. We had a seven here, which was the base here, and then a 35 here, okay? So I have to break this apart into different shapes and then find the area of those shapes and add them back together again, okay? There's no like one formula for this. So here's how I want you to do this so it's nice and organized, okay? First thing, I wanna just figure out what I already know about the shape and label it on the shape. So I know this triangle here and this triangle here are the same. So I'll do my little line there. I'll write a 20 here and I'll label that as seven. I know that seven there, okay? I already know that stuff. I'm gonna label this. I'll call it A, I'll call this B, and I'll call this C. I know that A and C are the same. How do I know that, Curtis? Um, because uh, the base on that little triangle is the same on both sides, and the height is the same on both sides. Absolutely, Curtis, great answer. You're such a big boy now. All right, so A and C are the same, okay? A and C are the same. Um, now, that 35 is a bit suspect, okay? That 35 was here like this before, okay? Which tells me, and a seven's here, which tells me that this whole bottom part here was actually seven plus 35. Okay, now I know, this is maybe, a, maybe I steered a few friends in the wrong direction earlier with this actually, because I know this is seven, right? It's the same. So this, this distance in here, okay, is gonna be 35, which is that, minus that seven, okay? Because it's just that distance there. So 35 minus seven, Anyone know 35 minus seven? Um, yeah, a little girl in the front there. Um, it is 28. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, so that you gotta pay attention, okay? Because that's a little tricky bit I added there, okay? 35 is for the whole distance here. I know that seven, so this part here is just gonna be that minus that section there, so 28. Okay, so here's what I know. A is a triangle, so it's base times height divided by two. B is a triangle, so it's base times height divided by two. It's the same, act oh sorry, not B, that's C. Thank you, it's the same as the same as A, okay? And then B, what shape is B? What shape is B? Yeah, the cat in the back there? Yeah, that's you, kitty. It's a triangle. It's a triangle. It's not a triangle. <laughs> Who can help you to help the chair out? Who's that kid? Sorry. Sorry, Grandpa? Uh, I think it's, uh, maybe I think it's a square. Yes, the calculator. Well, it's not a square. It's a rectangle. You're close. It's a rectangle, right? So it's length times width, okay? Actually, I'll put this down a little bit further. And now. So this is how I would like to see yours laid out, okay? I have a 
First, Ooh. fill in all the information you know, okay? Label your shapes, okay? And then do this. Write your the formulas for each shape, okay? Really? This tells me, Keegan, on a quiz that you know those formulas, okay? Start here. Now fill those things in. So A, base times height divided by 2. That'll be 7 times 20 divided by 2, okay? Got it. 7 times 2 is 14. Add that 0 is 140. So 140 divided by 2. What's half of 140? Yes, sir? Um, it's actually it's 70. It's 70. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Wonderful. Okay? Now watch this. You must do this. As we, maybe you noticed from last year, but as you get into more and more complicated math with more and more sections, the way I will know that you've got the final answer for something is to put a box around it. Okay? That tells me final, final answer. All right? I won't do it now because this is my, it's not my final, final answer. That's the answer for section A. Okay? That's A. I already know that C also equals 70. Just to do B now. So length times width. My length number was, well, it doesn't matter how I label it, but 28 times 20. Okay? I might do this as 28 times 10 and 28 times 10. That's easier. Right? Just add 2. Because 28 times 10 is 280. It grows by 10. Add them together. So 0, 6, that 1 goes up here. 2 and 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, 560. Am I done? No. Am I done? No! no. 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 no I'm not done. Okay? What is left to do? Now, I'll tell you, a lot of friends, I'll stand here, and for all of YouTube in the universe, and our 100 subscribers, oh, yeah! that a lot of friends, at least one friend, or two friends, will lose marks because they'll stop here and go, Mr. Waddle, I'm finished. They have missed a very crucial step. What? Have they missed? What is what is still what is still to do, Barbara? Um, no, actually, all you have to do is add. Um, add twenty-eight times twenty-eight. Thank you, Barb. <laughs> Absolutely. Sorry, oh, wow, well, Barb is. Maybe someone should call a medic. Uh, add them together. So add A and B and C. So seventy plus 70 plus 560, okay? Two 70s I know are 140, okay, plus 560. That 60 plus 40 is 100, so 100 plus the 500 plus the 100 gives me 700 as the answer. And watch this, I box that answer, so I know that's my final answer. If I look at your whole page like this, right, and see a bunch of numbers, operations, okay, don't do it. And I can't tell the final answer because there's no box like that, right? You will not get full marks on the quiz, all right? You need to, as a math is more complicated, to box your final answer, okay? I Thank you for watching. Like yeah!